Welcome to the top of the morning show. It's your girl Titi from the D. I want to thank you for rising and shining with us this morning. I'm aware that you could have woken up and tapped in and logged on to any podcast show, but you chose the top of the morning show, and I am grateful. I'm excited that it is Hunt Day Wednesday, Wind Down Wednesday, just another day amongst the living, and I am grateful for that. This morning, I just feel like I just want to come on and talk about gratitude, right? Just being grateful. Understanding that we are blessed and highly favored in so many ways, but just knowing that we have gratitude, you know? And gratitude is simply being thankful, showing appreciation to others, you know, even, I guess you could say paying it forward, you know? But what is the true meaning of gratitude? Gratitude which rhymes with attitude, like, you know what I'm saying? You got attitude, I ain't showing no gratitude. It comes from the Latin word, gratis, which means thankful, pleasing. And when you feel gratitude, you're pleased by what someone did for you, said to you, pleased by the results, right? I'm going to share with you three types of gratitude, okay? You have some psychologists categorize three types of gratitude. Gratitude as an effective trait, one's overall tendency to have a grateful disposition, a mood, daily fluctuating, an overall gratitude, and an emotion, a more temporary feeling of gratitude that one may feel after receiving a gift or a favor. But in the Bible, did you know giving thanks for everything is in first Thessalonians 5 and 16 through 18. Gratitude refers to the ability to show thanks for the things you have and the things you're grateful for. Right? And then, if you think about it on a spiritual level, what does gratitude mean spiritually? Gratitude is the act of feeling and communicating appreciation for the people or the person, the circumstances, situation, the materialistic, possessions that we have in our lives every day it allows us to cherish or present in ways that makes us feel in abundance rather than deprived right i know that's a lot and did you know that there is a golden rule for gratitude i'm gonna hold on there's a lot of words that if you thought about gratitude being in the center things that can catapult off of gratitude feeling thankful Gratitude leads you to believe more. It can lead you to change your attitude. It can lead you to want to help, be kinder, forgive, extend faith. Gratitude can make you fill up different levels of emotion. Grace. Gratitude can also spike respect, empatheticness, which is empathy, appreciation, right? Think about it. Just think about it for a moment. When you feel grateful, the golden rule is treat others the way you want to be treated. Right? That shows gratitude. Here are four A's of gratitude. Now, if you take a moment to write these down, or put them in your notes, your memos, you'll be amazed at what you come up with later down the road of life. Appreciation is an A. Approval is an A. Admiration is an A. And attention is an A. Those four A's we live by day by day whether we admit it or we don't. Whether we understand it or we don't. Whether we recognize it or we don't. We want to be appreciated. We want to show appreciation. We want to be approved in the actions and things we do. But we also want to approve of others. We want to be admired. And then we want to do with some admiring. We want full attention. And then we also want to give full attention. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? (laughs) I think... Three ways that you can improve your gratitude is to notice good things... 
and people. Savor things you notice about people or something. Express your gratitude to yourself by writing it down or thanking someone. They said that there are six pillars of gratitude. Relatedness, sincerity, empathy, self-regard, integrity, and humility. I can say I, I can see that. I can see that. And then did you know that there are five senses of gratitude? Hearing, taste, smell, touch, and sight. Right? The ability to hear the goodness of what a person says to you. The ability to be able to, you know, they say that old saying, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, right? But I think that goes for us too. (laughs) Then like the smell, you get it. I just want to remind you to be grateful for that little thing you wanted for that big thing you want for that one bedroom you live in all the way up to that five bedroom you live in for that old school car that takes a few minutes to warm up to the brand new car that is power activated without even a key doesn't matter what you have in this world Because the things we have materialistic don't matter at the end of the day. They don't matter at the end of the night. Our health is our wealth. That's true. I don't feel 100%. And this is day two. But God is good. And I know that he will provide all I need. I just gotta wait. But I'm grateful for even the pain I feel. Because I know that I'll be better. And it don't last always. So if I could encourage someone this morning to just know that you are loved and watched over to be grateful, then I would encourage you to do that. Be grateful for every big thing, every little thing, and everything in between. Well, that's all I have for you on this Wind Down Wednesday. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope that you have a wonderful evening. I hope you continue to have a great week. And I hope that your weekend is amazing. And more than that, I hope that every day you rise, that you are grateful and filled with gratitude. It's your girl, TT from the D, and I'll see you soon.